I'm Sonia and I help people take their power back. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me and want me to call you on your BS, all my coaching information is in the description below. I also go live here on YouTube if you want to come hang out and ask me manifestation questions and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. In this video, I want to talk about yet another comment that I got, excuse me, about somebody who was telling me that they are psychologically exhausted. And this is where I need you to understand that whatever you tell yourself is true is true. And from my experience, when I was very overwhelmed with manifestation, you need to be honest with you and ask yourself why that is. For me, those kind of moments came from me focusing all on the technique, doing the technique, 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 technique. And then looking outside of me and seeing nothing changing and doing more, 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 more on the technique and not seeing anything changing, going more, 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 more. And that is fucking exhausting. And it also is not how manifestation works. It is not about doing more. It is not about doing better. It is about making a fucking decision. It's about making a choice and then coming back to it. If you are psychologically exhausted, you need to take a step back and look at what you are actually doing, what you actually believe, and how you are approaching your journey of manifestation. You have always been manifesting. You know how to manifest perfectly. The problem isn't manifesting, it's what you're manifesting. You think 24-7, 365. All you are doing is shifting your perspective and catching yourself and telling yourself that things are now the way you want them to be. That's it. You do it to the best of your ability and you let go of the rest of the bullshit. If you are psychologically exhausted, you need to figure out how much bullshit you're holding on to and how many rules you're having in place and how much you are spending your time looking for clues and seeing if shit's working instead of just doing what you need to do and being happy in the present moment, which is totally possible. You can manifest, not have what you want, and be happy in this moment. Manifesting should not be psychologically exhausting. If it is, you need to figure out why the fuck that is. You are doing things in a way that is not beneficial to you and is more than likely not really helping you, but it is helping you. Somehow, some way, this is a part of your journey to understanding how manifestation actually works. And it could be you clicking on this video that finally makes it click for you. Finally makes you go within yourself to be truly honest about what you believe and what you expect from manifestation and how you are approaching getting what you want. Whatever you tell yourself is true is true. If you are focused on that you are psychologically exhausted and that manifestation doesn't work and it's just so hard, you're fucking right. And you're going to get more of that until you decide, this is easy. I get what I want when I want it. I already have what I want. I don't even have to work on manifesting. Whatever the fuck you want to be true. I'm just like trying to get you to see that your experience is whatever you tell yourself that it is. And whatever you come back to is what you're going to experience. And that you don't even need techniques to manifest you just have to be on top of your mental diet and the easiest way to be on top of your mental diet is to pay attention to how you feel and when you start feeling off that's when you check in with your mindset and you affirm this isn't a 24 7 thing I know a lot of people make it seem that way and I thought it was that in the beginning and I get it but if you are psychologically exhausted you need to ask yourself why and you need to take your power back you need to start doing what's going to work for you and start being very honest with yourself about what you believe. Because that is the only problem that you have is continuing to accept beliefs that you no longer want to be true. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light.